My name is Manny Kellogg. Uh, I've been around a while. I come from <coughs> Los Angeles, California. I've been playing drums now around to about to 52 years professionally. I started when I was eight years old. I am the original drummer for the late, great Billy Preston. I played on uh, Nothing From Nothing, Billy Go Around in Circles, Out of Space, Space Race, You Are So Beautiful, uh, just to name a few. Also, uh, I am the drummer for well-known group Larry Graham, Graham Central Station. Uh, we had a hit record entitled, Gold Record, entitled Ain't No Bout It Doubt It, and uh, we got a Grammy for that. Uh, today, I'm basically traveling around, uh, playing jazz on cruise ships, and mentoring, uh, I take pride in mentoring the young players that's coming up nowadays. I try to just let them know that you don't have to be in the heavy, heavy, heavy drug scene to be call yourself a musician. Uh, and that's basically what I'm doing. I teach every now and then, play a lot of live shows. But my background uh, goes all the way back to when I was, uh, again, eight years old. Started playing drums in uh, Pleasant Hill Baptist Church, Los Angeles, California. Uh, also played uh, with uh, the Papa, Mr. Ray Charles himself. I believe I was like 16 years old when I played with Ray Charles. And uh, that was back in like 1969. Uh, so these are things I'm really very proud of. And uh, it's, it's a blessing to be able to do what you love to do. I was talking to uh, my friend earlier, to be able to do what you love to do, travel around the world, and make a few dollars for doing it. It feels pretty good. I met uh, Billy Preston in the parking lot of a club back in Los Angeles called Mavericks Flat. Uh, I was the band leader, had a little high school band called Rhythm Rebellion, and he loved our band. He loved it. He used to come in and uh, watch us play, sit in with us every now and then. So one night he came in, he was leaving, he stayed until the end of our show, and I followed him outside. And I said, uh, hello, Mr. Preston. Uh, can I talk to you for a minute? This is like midnight on a Saturday night. <laughs> and uh, I cornered him and asked him, uh, I said, you know, I would love to be your drummer. And from that night on in the parking lot of Mavericks Flat is when our 25-year uh, relationship began as me being his drummer and band leader uh, for 25 years. I was pl uh, playing with Billy Preston, and uh, Billy Preston started to, well, he decided he wanted to take a little vacation from the touring and just wanted to kind of settle down and go on a little hiatus. So I was pretty well known from playing on a lot of uh, other hit records with Billy and also Quincy Jones, uh, people like that. And uh, Larry Graham knew me, but I was introduced to Larry Graham by a gentleman that used to play in the Billy Preston band by the name of uh, Butch. We called him Robert Sam. He's now uh, the late Robert Sam, Butch. And he was the keyboard player for Grand Central Station at that time. So he introduced me to uh, Larry, and uh, Larry asked me if I was available. I went to Oakland, drove to Oakland to audition for the band. Audition for the band. and. Uh, from that day on, I think it was like 1970, oh man, 1970, maybe 74, late 73, early 74, uh, that I got with Larry Graham, and that relationship and that band landed, uh, landed us a gold album, again, like I said, also, we got uh, a Grammy for that, Best New Artist. I did one, one, uh, one recording, which was the first uh, gold uh, hit record that they really had. 
And the name of that album was Ain't No Bout a Doubt It. Yeah, I can say you knew, uh, I'm sure you remember the uh, Oakland bass group Tower of Power. Tower of Power did the, the horns on the album. I moved to Las Vegas, I met a wonderful lady that I, uh, we got married, and uh, that's what brought me mainly to Las Vegas, is, which is uh, my daughter's mother. And uh, we got married, and I've been in Las Vegas ever since 1986, up until this very day. The music scene here is okay. It's nothing like it was when I first moved to Las Vegas. I mean, you could uh, get work just about any place. Now, it's pretty hard from what I see uh, trying to work here in Las Vegas. Just musicians here are fantastic, great musicians, great people, but everybody's saying the same thing. It's just not like it used to be. Things ain't what they used to be. Uh, in the music scene here in Las Vegas today. Well, I started doing uh, cruise ships back in 2008. Uh, actually, way before that, but I got uh, a contract of my own back 2008, uh, and I was asked to set up the jazz program for Celebrity Cruise Lines. Uh, basically, I was the founder of, of the jazz program there. Uh, had my own group, which was uh, a trio and a vocalist. And basically, all I was doing was traveling around, sailing around the world to all these beautiful, beautiful ports and playing jazz every night. That's about it. I've been to Egypt, I've been to Israel, I've been to uh, I've been to Greece, been to the Caribbean, been to Alaska, all over the world, been to Africa, uh, Panama, so I've been all over the world playing jazz on a cruise ship. Life on the cruise ship is very nice, uh, give or take a, a little bit. Uh, you never want for nothing. It's just the idea uh, you have to get used to it. Uh, you just can't. I, I kind of pity some people that I take out with me because they really know, don't know what to expect until they get out there. Basically, I would say get you a good agent. Uh, make sure you have a, a, real, a real good band and make sure you understand your contract and uh, don't, take the, don't take the contract for granted. Make sure you know what you're doing before you go out there. Thank you very much for having me.